Welcome back. This is our video solution to problem 14 from Super Quiz 3. In this problem, we're going to use the division algorithm to well, rewrite the division algorithm. It's actually going to be very, very straightforward. Uh, this will convert the normal division algorithm into what maybe you were used to seeing when you were a little kid and you were first learning things like long division. So uh, now one thing that will be a little different from when you were a kid is we're going to be assuming that we have just arbitrary integers, so they could be negative. Uh, the only assumption here is that b is not going to be 0. Uh, we're going to assume that the division algorithm holds for this situation. So before we get into the, what we actually want to prove, let's write down what the division algorithm says in that case. So the division algorithm in the situation where we have two integers and all we know is that one of them is non-zero says that there exists a unique pair of integers q comma r such that a is equal to q times b plus r. So q is supposed to be the quotient and r the remainder. And there's an extra condition on r, namely that, well, first r should be non-negative. And, well, typically we say that it has to be less than b. However, because we're allowed to use negative entries for b, saying it's less than b when b is a negative number and saying that r is positive uh, or non-negative like that's gonna be a little bit awkward um, and so the correct way that you write it in this more general situation is to say that r is less than the absolute value of b okay so once we have this it's actually going to be quite straightforward to prove what we need to prove which is that there exists unique integers q and r hey we have those already such that a over b is equal to q plus r over b where okay now and there's this condition well because we have the unique pair q and r such that a is equal to qb plus r well what do we have well let's just divide everything by b which by the way because b is non-zero that makes sense so thus a over b is equal to q plus r over b and this is this is if and only if right like if you had this equation you had some pair well then of course you could multiply through by b and you'd get the equation up above so if you could find a different pair q and r down below you'd get a different pair q and r up above so the uniqueness is not going to be a problem here so we've already found this equation now we just need to make sure that this inequality holds well let's see if I take r and I divide it by the absolute value of b, then I'm going to, in the middle, have r divided by the absolute value of b. And that will be less than the absolute value of b divided by the absolute value of b, which is 1. And of course, if you take 0 and divide it by the absolute value of b, that will still be 0. So if we have that 0 is less than or equal to r is less than the absolute value of b, dividing everything, right? so we divide oops, divide by the absolute value of b, will give us this inequality here. And you might say, well, you know, the, the absolute value here is on the entire thing. But because we know r is greater than or equal to 0, then r is equal to the absolute value of r, because r is at least zero so we could if we want rewrite this as the absolute value of r over b okay that's all there is to it write down our under you know our definition for the division algorithm in this general situation divide by b or the absolute value of b and you get the result